Hey, young wizard, I can't wait to tell you about my favorite pastime, fishing. Come find me by the water in the commons. Hello, wizard. I'm Lucky Hook Line, famous fish and Pisces collector. You might have heard about the 60-inch whopper I caught. No? Oh, well, let me tell you. Fishing is a terrific hobby, and you won't find a more relaxing pastime. Well, if you like, I can teach you how to cast for fish magically, of course, and you can catch your own whoppers. First off, you gotta be in an area of the spiral populated with fish. You know you are when the fishing icon appears. Clicking the fishing icon button displays your fishing spells. Fishing is a magical activity in the spiral, you know. Your fishing spells consist of fish catching spells and fishing utility spells, I uh, yeah. Click on a fish catching spell to cast a magical lure. You want it to land in front of a fish so they notice it. Now, if you don't like where your lure lands, click the cancel spell button to quickly recast the spell. When the magical lure flashes, that means a fish has noticed it and is coming closer to take a nibble. As a nibble, the lure will rise and fall a bit. The trick is to wait until the lure completely sinks below the water. Then you reel them in. Hit the space bar to quickly snag the fish. Timing is crucial in fishing, don't you know? And so are your spells. Every fish has a magical school type, and fish are more attracted to lures from their same school. When you use your lure correctly, your magic will snare the fish and float it back to you. Aye. Uh, you'll see the name and size of every fish you catch. Small fries are the tiniest ones, while waffles are the biggest. The fish are stored in your fish basket. The angler's tome has a record of all the fish you ever caught. Click on it to open it. The angler's tome will tell you how many of each fish you caught, along with the smallest and largest sizes. Another important tip to know is that every fish you come across responds only to your presence, no matter what. So don't worry about the competition, or that all the wizards will scare away the fish. You're the only one that can do that. Now that I've explained the basics of our magical fishing, let me give you the Lesser Frost Lure. It's a good basic lure spell. Go to the water behind old Zeke over there and use the Lesser Frost Lure to catch a frost decoy and an ice scooter.
Look at the sizes of the frost decoy and the ice scooter you caught. I reckon that must have taken a bit out of you. Uh, as you may have noticed, fishing costs energy. Never fear, your energy will replenish over time. But well, we need to get on to your next fishing lesson. So here, have this energy elixir so we can get started. Are you ready for your next fishing lesson now? Well, sounds like someone's hooked on fishing. Let's get started. You're a bright kid, so I'm sure you noticed that the lesser frost lure I gave you is an ice school spell. And you probably also noticed that the frost decoy and the ice cooter are both ice school fish. Ice fish like ice lures, I up. Uh, you can catch non-ice fish with your lesser ice lure, but you'll have a better chance if you buy the other school lures. I have lures for each school I can sell you. They're not required, but they will help with your next objective. Catch one owl-eyed pike, a cuttlefish, a catfish, a grape jellyfish, a fish sandwich, a crocotopian eel, and a brain sturgeon. Well, because I'm nice, I'm not going to tell you to catch seven fish and just wish you luck. I'm going to give you luck. 